Okay, so we're answering past paper questions. This one over here says, the time in minutes that it took for the first goal to be secured, uh, scored in seven football games was recorded. The times in ascending order are represented by A, B, C, D, E, F, G in this table over here. Now we know that it's ascending, meaning that this one over here is definitely the smallest, this is the biggest. They want us to find out what these values are and in order to do that they gave us some information, some observations that were made. It says that all goals were scored at different times, meaning that each one of these numbers are different, okay? The minimum time for the first goal was 5 minutes, so automatically we can fill in that this number over here is 5, because it was the minimum. It says that the range of the times was 48 minutes, so that means G minus A should give me 5. So what we're doing instead, if we're going the other way around, we're saying 5 plus the 48 must give us G, which means that G is 53. Okay? Then it says that the medium time was 22. We know that the median is in the middle. I'm going to show you that and that blocked out, that and that blocked out, that and that blocked out. Here's our median and they're telling us that it's 22. So let's fold that in. It says the difference between the time at the lower quarter. Okay, let's find the lower quarter. Block out, block out. Here's our lower quarter. And the minimum was 7 minutes. So that means from here to here is 7 minutes. So we're going to add 5 plus 7 to get this one here of 12. Okay. Then it says the interquartile range of the time was 28 minutes. So we know interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So let's go. Q3 would have been over here. This number, minus 12, should give us 28. So going backwards, we're going to say 12 plus 28 is going to give us F, which is now 40. Okay. And then they told us that the mean time was 27 minutes. We know that to calculate mean, you add all of the numbers and you divide by how many they are. Okay. So let's add all of the numbers. I'm going to write them down. 27 is equal to 5 plus 12, I'm getting this, okay, plus C plus 22 plus E plus 40 plus 53, right, divided by, they told us it was 7. Okay, now we have a bit of a problem. I have C over here and I have E over here and it's just one equation and two unknowns. So let's see what the next bit of information says. That E is equal to 2C. So here we are, see E. I'm going to replace this with 2C. Now I have one variable in one equation. I can solve for the unknown variable. So I'm going to add all of these numbers over here. Okay, 132, so we got 132 plus 1 plus 2C, which is 3C. I want to get rid of the 7, so I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to subtract that 132. I get that 3C is equal to 57. Let's divide it by 3. And I get that C is actually equal to 19. Let's fill this part here. 19. Now I need to pick out E. We know that E is 2 times C. So multiplied by 2. It gives me that E is 38. And there we go. We figured out all of the numbers. And I think this here was like 7 marks because we're working out each one of them. Easy stuff. Let's go on. It says, if the standard deviation of the data set is, so they're telling us what standard deviation is. I'm going to pause for a second and I'm going to show you how we calculate standard deviation in case anyone needed a reminder, okay? So if we wanted standard deviation, you go to stat mode, okay? My calculator has a 
little more options but you're going to stat okay option three we're using this one here one minus periods and you're going to type in each bit of data and you press an equal to sign in between so five equals 12 equals Okay. Once you type in it, I pressed an equal to sign in between each time, right? Once you're done with that, you press the AC button. That's what it should show. I'm going to press shift one. Okay, now it unlocks a new stat menu. We are looking for variance. So option four, four, and then it brings up this. Okay, for standard deviation, you're looking at this number over here. So you press option three equals, and there we go. 15.87 okay so they told us it's 15.87 minutes how many goals were scored within one standard deviation of the mean time now if we stand within one standard deviation of the mean time what you're going to do is going to say the mean minus one standard deviation and you're going to say the mean plus one standard deviation they told us earlier mean time is 27, so we don't have to calculate anything. If they said within two standard deviations, you'd put a 2 in front of you and you'd multiply this number by 2. Then you type it in on your calculator and get the answer, okay? And the same thing here, right? Let's work out these. Okay, so 27. There we go. 21.13. So they want to know how many goals were scored within. So within would be in between these two numbers. So we're going to go between 11.13 and 21.13. Let's see. Does this number fit within it? No. Does this number fit within it? Yes. It fits within this and this. Okay. Does 19 fit? Yes. Does 22 fit? No, because it stops at 21.13. So now to answer our question, to... we are done on standard deviation okay let's quickly recap what you need to know about standard deviation you need to know how to calculate it you use your calculator for it and then you need to know how to answer questions like this so if they say within one mean then you're going to just work it out if they said within two means you're gonna i mean within two standard deviations sorry within two standard deviations of the mean put a two in front of there put a two in front of there and same thing put a two in front of you and multiply and work it out right they could say lower than one mean. If they're talking about lower than one mean, are we worried about this? No. This number over here, you're going to look for all the numbers lower than it. So in this case here, which ones are lower than it? This one here would be lower than it. If I said higher than one mean, are we concerned with this? No. We're only concerned with this one over here, all the numbers bigger than it. Okay. So just read the question and see what it says.